The one that tells the story controls the narrative. If you want to be a person of influence, you must remember the events as they transpired in order to retell the story accurately. The reason why the mass media tells the story that they want to, you to hear is because bad news sells. It's as simple as that. And that's the program that they have instilled upon the masses for as long as human beings have been transmitting information from one person to another. So, in that sense, it's important to be a good investigator if you want to tell a story that is going to reflect events that took place at some point in one's history, in one's past. A lot of times, as I've mentioned before, history, which is his story, has been told by the victor of the, in other words, the winning side. The loser doesn't get to tell the story because they are too ashamed to admit that they lost. So that's why our history is not what we think it is because it has always been told by those who have been in power and have been able to tell the story from a vantage point of the winning perspective. So keep that in mind the next time that you decide to, to crack open a history book or, or watch the news. <clears throat> Although I highly suggest that you stop watching the news because it's all lies. Everything that you that you watch on TV is a fabrication of the truth. It has an agenda, and that agenda is to sell. And they will do anything to sell their story, even if it means distorting the truth. So I'm here to tell you that controlling the narrative is a great responsibility. But if you want to be a person of influence, then make sure that you are able to consult with as many sources as possible and before piecing together the, the events that took place so as to portray an accurate representation of what actually happened. So that's you know, that's one of the, the mysteries that I like to unveil to all of you is, you know, it's really not rocket science at all. It's just a matter of being able to tell a story and tell it, you know, in a way that is going to motivate people to take action. Because there has to be some lesson to be learned in the story, otherwise it's not worth telling or a moral to the story. So, uh, you know, really just take a moment to uh, to dig through your family photo albums and <clears throat> start asking your loved ones, you know, what happened when. Take a look at a picture and and then, you know, ask someone who you think might have some background information as to you know, what happened in that, in that photograph, you know, what was the event that transpired that would be able to speak to the event in an in intelligible, honest, and knowledgeable manner. Um, Shakespeare was once quoted as saying that the world is a stage. Well, if the world is a stage, then we're all actors playing a part. And part of that, of, of the game, is really to to create a, an environment where you engage a captive audience and allow them to imagine, allow them to to you know to be inspired and 
you know, and and more, more often than not, it comes from uh, you know humble beginnings. It comes from people who are salt of the earth, who you know started from nothing and had to work their way into becoming something or someone, and you know, and and were able to live to tell a story as a result. So, you know, far too often, you have people who want to take the credit for, you know, for events that took place in one's past, but because they lack the knowledge, they start fabricating the truth. You know, they start coming up with their own personal rendition of what actually happened. And, I mean, we see it. It happens every day, you know, from people fudging their resume, you know, to people, you know, lying about, you know, where, what credentials they have in terms of, you know, background, um, their experience, life experience, and so, you know, they, they tell stories that embellish upon what is the truth, you know, what is, what actually took place in order for them to reach the point where they are in life. So, always use critical thinking skills to question every narrative that is being presented to you because you just don't know all the all the facts. I mean it's impossible to know all the facts about about any event because even with eyewitnesses present it's only going to give a subjective account of, of what actually transpired. And so, you know, I, in, in this manner, I can only speak from a subjective viewpoint because objectivity is, is not realistic in, in this paradigm of reality that we live in, where, you know, it's, it's good versus evil, black or white. Um, you know, it's really hard to come up with a gray area and, you know, and, and play the middle ground. So, you know, be mindful the next time that, you, that you're consuming information, whether it's from the newspaper, social media, from television, from the movies. You know, always try to look for the underlying message that is being presented to you and see if it makes sense. See if, it, you know, if, if you can really make any any sense out of it. So that's all I have to say for now. Thank you very much for your time and I look forward to next episode. Peace.